today's adventure begins really early, early, as the recording of this Wednesday, April 5th, in the main atrium lobby at the hotel at MCO, Orlando International Airport. I am heading down there, going to go through a checkpoint and get on a flight to Washington, D.C. You can see it's still dark outside. The sunroof has no sun. I got a plane to catch. I think it's cool about this. We stayed in the, the hotel here last night. Sean Clark and myself are parting ways today. He's getting on a plane and going to one destination. I'm getting on a plane and going to another. We're going our separate ways. Like that journey song. Like that journey song. Just like the journey song? I can barely hear you. Uh, we'll All the way down. Keep going. Keep walking. On the side. Sean's trying to point out where, where our room was. Uh, corner, third from the top. Third from the top. In between those two pillars. Yeah. Right over. Right over there. It was beautiful, a short stay. A beautiful view of we did it. angry travel. Traveling. Yep. Till next time, my friend. Till next time. Kind of hoping I can take a little nap on the plane. I got about two hours of sleep last night after editing the last video, the Tron opening yesterday. Got a board early. Got a game to catch today. Tampa Bay Rays versus Washington Nationals. So basically a flight game video, travel video. File it whatever you said choose. So there's the arrival boards. This is the departure boards. I'm on the very bottom of this one, American Airlines. Gate 31, departing at 7.11 a.m. Let's go. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. I am over here in the B section right there. Everyone rolling their suitcases up, very unusual sound going up the escalator. I am heading in, I'm inviting you to join me. In, up, down, and out of Orlando, Florida. Washington DC. Washington DC. It's early. I need coffee. Join me. Got my bags packed up. Got my shoes tied tight. Hope I don't get in it. I'm thinking about Billy Madison. Oh, I'm not going back to school. Join me. I'm tired. Shall you? All right. Took a little while to get to the checkpoint. Not too long. Maybe like 15, 20 minutes. Well, I'm gonna grab the monorail now. Head over to the gate. The gate link is now arriving. The gate. Should be boarding very, very shortly, and the plane departs in just about an hour. Now it's a little difficult to see because of the haze on the window here. But that is my plane. Should be boarding in the next couple minutes. American Airlines. Sitting towards the front and window seat. About a two, two hour flight, two hour, ten minutes. I'm like a little over two hours. Not too bad. A little bit of dew on the, the window here. I'm kind of looking at my notes here. And today will be the 10th baseball stadium, if everything goes well, that I have been to, where I am rooting for the race. Of course, Tropicana Field, their home. But last year I went to Wrigley, saw the White Sox at Guaranteed Rate, went to Angel Stadium, went to Open Coliseum, went to Seattle Mariners, their ballpark in Seattle, went to Fenway, for a series, Cincinnati Reds, and I went to the wild card series in Cleveland. Nine stadiums that I've been to while rooting for the Rays. Today will be day number 10, or stadium number 10, with the Rays playing the Nationals at National Stadium. With my eventual goal being going to every single stadium when the Rays are playing as the opponent. It's not something that's done too often, but now with the way the new baseball rules are with every team playing every team, either a home series or an away stadium, it could be possible over the next couple of years. I could really use a cup of coffee sitting in seat 4F, so four seat back, first class seat. I, I, probably, I probably won't sleep, I probably won't take a nap, but I'll use some caffeine. And you can kind of see the plane out there through the window. Like I said, it's very, very hazy. Condensation on the window there. And the 
travel pretty light. No check on for me, just carry on. Just my bag above my head and my backpack. That's it. Travel pretty light.
pleasure to wel welcome you to Washington National, where the local time is 9.18 a.m. For your safety, please... 9.18 a.m. arrived at Washington National, and now I'm going to go see the Tampa Bay Rays face up against the Washington Nationals. They share the same name as their airport. Here's an outside, outside perspective. Well, I'm inside, looking outside, but an outside perspective of a plane, which is over there. But it just deboarded. And now in Washington, D.C. Just gotta find their own cars. This is a pretty cool looking airport. You know, I don't think I've ever actually landed or flown out of here before. If I have, I definitely do not recall. If it has, it's been a, a heck of a long time ago. So I'm, looking, I'm not going to baggage claim, but I am going to ground transportation to get together. Welcome to DCA Reagan National. You know, it's funny being a, someone that goes to Disney all the time, I hear DCA, <laughs> Disney California Adventure. Or DCA, Reagan International. These exit doors are pretty interesting. Returning to this area requires re-entry through screening. You go into through a couple, oh, there's like a few different little doors and pockets. Boy, they really make it interesting. All right, this is the rental car bus gonna take me over to where the rental cars are gonna be. That's where we're gonna pick up the car. I'm not gonna be flying out of DC, but I am flying in and I'm gonna have a car for a while. That's a pretty cool looking logo right there. All right, DCA. Just got out of my rental. I almost slipped on that banana peel right there that's on my left. Well, this is my car parked over in this lot. $50 to park. Didn't really know exactly where to park near the stadium. A lot of the places were monthly things or you had to have a permit, very confusing. But there is a lot right here by the stadium. $50 all day, so I opted for that. First pitch today is at 110, I believe. I'm not sure what time doors open, but it's almost two hours. Sometimes it's two hours before, so I'm thinking maybe two hours before. Sometimes Tropicana is 90 minutes before, so I'll see what happens when I get Yeah, see, this is what confused me. Permit holders only here at the Geico garage, so I just opted for the flat, flat, flat rate lot. But I like these, I like these, uh, these, ba these silver baseballs up there on top of the Geico garage. Wandering around a little bit to the Capitol building straight up ahead over here. This is giving me some Peter Sellers being there vibes, where he's walking down the middle of the road. I don't think this is the exact spot, but pretty dang close to the angle. It might even be a little like another block up, in fact. Right about like that. I also asked one of the locals who was waiting to go into the game if it was two hours or 90 minutes before. They said it's 90 minutes before, so it's a 105 first pitch, which means 1135, if my math is correct, can go inside the stadium. And right now, as I look at my phone to see the exact time, it's 1053. So another 40 minutes, give or take. Now they have blocked off the street down here, so pretty soon the gates will be opening. First pitch at one. This is a place called the bullpen. It's kind of interesting. It actually looks like a bullpen. Also, a friend of mine's tagging along today, the Philly captain. Here we are, Washington, D.C. Today, we will watch the Washington Nationals lose to the Tampa Bay Rays <laughs> in a battle of who cares about them, and that's your team? It's going to be a fantastic day, Adam. I mean, unfortunately, we got to watch the Nationals. I'm glad you're here. Oh, I'm glad to be here. All right, we are now inside the stadium, and my first thought is definitely a lot bigger stadium than I was kind of expecting it to be. Definitely a lot different setup than Tropicana Field, obviously. But I guess right now, what's the season it is right now? The, the flower season? Cherry 
blossom season. Cherry blossom season is it's in full effect. So there's lots and lots of cherry blossom stuff all around the concourses, the exteriors, on the merchandise, you know, in the, just wherever you look, paintings of it, that really embrace the cherry blossom. Cherry blossom here in Washington, D.C. So I guess I'm here at the right time, beginning, near the beginning of the season, cherry blossom, cherry blossoms are in full effect. Kind of, they also have some flowers out in the outfield, which is kind of interesting. Kind of interesting setup of the, of the stadium. The seats just look right down into the bullpen, which is pretty cool too. We we're just kind of wandering around. They just did, they didn't do any batting practice. They just had a lot of the players warming up from both teams out in the outfield. Some of the pitchers are out there throwing the balls out, but it didn't look like maybe too hot since it is a early game, 1 p.m. first pitch to have any batting practice. But yeah, we're here to show some natitude. We got you don't like that. Stop. It's pretty makes makes me think like everybody's just walking around naked. Natitude showing, showing nat. No, not no, not in a DD or it. Has, in a T, natitude. That's what I do. It's thumb. Yeah, I'm gonna probably get a hot dog. He's got a race shirt on, a race jersey on. But it, Ben's Chili Bowl is that kind of like a staple around DC? It's the most. Like, the most. When people think of tourist food location I'm, I'm spots gonna, in DC, that's it. Man. I'm gonna get some Ben's Chili Chili Bowl a little bit later. I got to do a win in row moment. We're gonna be sitting behind Ray's dugout on the third base line. We are in 116. I think we're like three or four seats back. It's gonna be a little toasty and warm. It's kind of hot out today. We might get around a walk, get up and walk around a little bit, depending on how the game goes. Over in here, there are some game use and autograph items that you can get. You can get like some, you know, a wide variety of stuff, like some bases up top here, jerseys, posters. Dude, baseball helmets. Use twenty dollars for a used baseball. It's like helmet. a bat boy. It's like a bat boy helmet. What if you walked out and ran out there like you were the bat boy? You think they would think they would catch on? No, I think yeah, me wearing the Phillies outfit. No, like oh, that's just the, the bat boy. Oh, I think <laughs> I might get one of these. It's only twenty bucks, dude. You can't beat it. Gotta buy it. It's not bad. And it's red. Right. Oh, is that the Phillies? These are game used over here. Yeah. Oh, here's some bats. Game used bats. Is there any notable names in there that we would know from? Team? No, they're all Nationals bats, so we wouldn't know any of these players. So you miss this guy? Do I miss this guy? Yeah. No, I see him. I mean, I miss him right now, but he plays for my team. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's yeah, but I mean. yeah, yeah. He plays for. I don't the know players. what I was saying there. You know, I don't know where team. I was going with that. <laughs> Dude, they miss. They probably. They probably miss it. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, they don't miss his. Paper. Look, there's a little bit of dirt on there. I don't think you're supposed to touch it though. Huh? You're supposed to touch it? Yeah, you can do that. Oh, you can. Just let me know there. This shows some of the historical people who have been here. Pope Benedict was here. Also, a lot of musical artists, according, including McCartney, Springsteen, Billy Joel. Of course, who can One Direction there? So who can forget? But a lot of people probably have. Bruce, a lot of E Street Eagles, Green Day, Fallout Boy, Weezer tour was here. Chili Peppers was here, and Elton John did his farewell Yellow Brick Road tour here as well. And this is the DC Sports Hall of Fame over here. We're kind of walking around in here because it's shaded, and once we get out in the sun, it's going to be a little warm. Now I'm looking up here, there's a lot of baseball players, kind of like animated, cartoony looking baseball players that are on this little circular thing, almost like a hypnotizing. I thought there was two circular things, but there's four circular things. I probably have all the teams represented up there, maybe, possibly, maybe not. I can't tell if he's sliding into home there or if the guy behind him is hitting him with the bat. Probably, he's probably sliding into home. Possibly. Okay, there's the Oakland days. That's probably the Yankees with the pinstripes right there. Yeah, I'm kind of curious what the attendance is going to be in today. We asked one of the ushers. He said it was 41,000 is what this place holds. Yeah. I don't think there's going to be 41,000 here today. I'm guessing maybe 10 or 15. 11,000. 11,000 they're expecting? Yeah. I was going to say 10. Well, we'll be two of them. We'll be people go to indoor lacrosse in Philadelphia. Okay, yeah, we walked way up here and the, you know, the grounds crews out getting everything ready, but we're noticing George Washington is walking around down there, so we're going to go meet George walking around over there behind the, the bullpen, the raised bullpen over there in left. Japan to the United States, Koji Tomita. The ambassador from Japan to the United States. The ambassador is here today to celebrate the National Cherry Blossom Festival. Oh. The largest talking about celebration of Japan-U.S. friendship and to mark the 111th anniversary of the gift of 3,000 cherry blossom trees from Japan in 1912. These trees have become a living symbol of friendship between our countries. And catching the pitch today is Nationals catcher Riley Adams. 
And an eagle. They obviously have an eagle also as a mascot. There's oh, no weight to that mascot. I like a fat, chubby mascot. It's oh, you just, know what? That it's just a guy in the human. That's, that's, is the mascot calling balls and strikes? Oh, oh well, he's, uh, he's, he's on, on the mound. mound. Nice. Oh. Strike. The eagle called it a strike. Oh, I think the eagle's name is Screech. All right, Shane giving all the bullpen, or the uh, relievers, high fives on the way out. Oh, we got plenty of elbow room in here. Let's go. Oh, lot. yeah. Plenty of elbow room. We're just going to spread out, spread out here in our seats. First pitch to Yandi. I am predicting a 12 to 3 raise win. All right. 12 to 3. I mean, it may not be exact. It may be one or two runs off, but I'm predicting 12 to 3 Rays win. You're See saying the right. undefeated streak continues. Yeah, also the Rays, they're 5 and 0. Oh. They're yeah. the only undefeated team right now in baseball. Yeah, my team is one in four. Yeah. And uh, so if they're. If so they, I feel the exact opposite the way you look. You probably feel great. I feel and pretty I feel good. Oh, oh. I feel pretty good. So. Now the. Shane's on the mound. Oh, oh. So it's interesting to watch the pitch clock. Get the pitch clock over here. 15 seconds. The batter has eight seconds, seven or eight seconds to get it ready behind the plate. And the pitcher has a total of 15 seconds total. So eight seconds after the seven or eight. Oh, oh, it? Oh, oh, he's safe. Boom, safe! He got him by half a step. All right, in fact, Randy was safe at first, and then here Ramirez got a single, brought Randy to second. Now Ramirez is at first, and Mark goes at the plate. Ooh. Full count. Or pop it up. <laughs> Let's go, Randy! Let's hang it up! Let's go, Randy! Get in there! Third replay of the game? Yeah. I don't know, man. I think he was safe. I think he missed the tag. He's saying, I think the catcher's saying he missed the plate. Alright, now making our way over to Ben's Chili Bowl. Look, there's like hardly anybody in line here. So, we might get a chili dog or maybe just a bowl of chili. Alright, we're both with the same thing. We went with the all the way, Ben's half smoke all the way. Chili onions, cheese. cheese. What else is on it? Uh -huh. What is that? It looks like a mystery. Oh, thank you. And thank I just you, got sir. a regular coat. Thank you. And it's nice. They'll give you free refills. They're showing some attitude. I like the free refills. Trop does that too. Yeah. I hate the slogan, attitude. You don't like that? No. They don't. get free refills, so you just got to deal with it. You just say free refills. So this is what happens when we get up to get some chili dogs. The Nationals get a run on the board. It's now one to one. Randy almost got him out at home, throwing from left, cut off man, but he was safe by like a foot. Hi. Good? So good. So All good. Right. So we talked to a local. He said, don't get the hot dog, get the sausage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. a friendship with YouTubers who just help constantly have our hands out filming. <laughs> that is pretty dang good. It's really good. Mm. Pretty good. It's good. Put a little uh, heat. Yeah, it even has that little that little pop, that little crunch that like a good hot dog has. Mm -hmm. Like a Chicago diet. What's the Chicago dog brand? Kind of has it tastes like that, but it's a sausage. Yeah, it's good. It, it's supposed to be the best. It's really good. Yeah. All right, Razor back up. One to one. We're getting out of the sun for a little bit too, which is kind of nice. We're going to have to do this in, in, uh, in bits because it's hot out there. Fun fact, I just learned this about hanging with It is a base hit. Who's that? Oh, that's Yandi? Yandi with the base head lead off. Right, we're gonna get another little treat here at the Hard Times Cafe. What what makes it Hard Times? It's like, well, you're a Nats fan. Yeah, it must be really hard being a Nats fan. So uh, this year it will be. Yeah, yes. Hard Times. It so is this the, is this what I'm getting? The Hard Times? Yeah. Okay. You want the veggie or the meat? I'll do the meat. Yeah, I'll okay. do meat. 
You want one? Get your description. Yeah. This is a lot of sour cream. This is like the multitude of goodness on nachos, right? Oh, everyone's cheering on the ground screw out there. Are they cheering the ground screw? I think they're cheering the ground there. Well, they got nothing else to cheer for. The team's getting beat so bad. Well, it's three to one. The yeah, so you might as well the the up. ground screw. We only ordered one of these because it's just, there's so much here. You got an extra bowl, and we're gonna like just Whoa. share it. The one yeah. thing, one complaint about the stadiums, they don't have napkins at the stands. You have to walk a quarter of a mile to get a napkin. That is weird. Which is what you're gonna need. <laughs> Should I get a napkin first before I go? I'll go get you a napkin. Right. Well, they're having the president race, and it looks like she's dressed as the Easter Bunny coming around. Maybe it's not a race, it's just, oh, here they are over here. Moving very slowly, like a turtle there. You got Abe Lincoln, George Washington, and incoming, the Easter Bunny. Oh, knocked him over there. Knocked Ben Franklin over, and there's the winner. Right there, the Easter Bunny. Ben Franklin took a tumble. And we were just discussing amongst ourselves that this chili is not as good as the first chili. What was the first chili place again? Ben's Chili. Oh. Uh -oh. It's gonna drop. Ah, oh. drop by Siri. Oh no! It's going oh. for two. Three, three. We got it. Oh, he has to eat it. Take care, guys. We're going back to the game. Oh, look at their shirts. Here comes the bloom. Okay, like they did you dirty. Here comes they the... They did you dirty. That's all right. You okay, though, cuz? Yeah, George, congratulations on your win. Yo, you didn't lie to me. Thank you, cuz. And we're looking up top here at these flags, the different dates. So 2019, they got they won the series. There's also a flag for 33, 25, and... What's the other one? 24? 1924? 1924. 100 years ago, they were a good team. Another home run for the Rays. Harold Ramirez. Barreled. Now it's done. Now it's four to two. Right down the center field line. 402 feet. Also, general manager of the race sitting right there. They got a special handshake. And, oh, man. Margot just scored. <laughs> Center fielder lost that ball in the sun. The Rays just scored another one. Oh my gosh. What was that? The Nats acting like the Nats. Whoops. Whoops. It is now five to two Rays. Jose Siri is up. I feel the captain was noticing the Jose Siri stance is a unique one. Very unique. Looks like he would sprain his ankle. There's another raise run. Up. Oh. Let's go, Siri. Siri going to third. Going to third. Oh. That's all right. It's five to two. Oh, look at this thing right here. This ball. Oh, he's like, let me. I guess Beeks has the right of way over there. Ground crew's just getting off there in the, uh, the, the little uh, vehicle down there. The vehicle that is shaped like a helmet in Nashville. Oh, oh. Oh, stop, man. Don't want to see Wonder hurt. Everybody's going out. Cash is going out. Come on. Do not wonder hurt. Won't wonder hurt. Second series of the season. Alright, looks like he's good. There he is! You think he heard you? I know he heard me. <laughs> Randy or Rosalina is a guy on first and second. Six to two. Two outs. Randy gets a home run with a kind of two. Just a uh, base hit. Bring in you know, at least one, maybe two runners. Double out of That's how it is! Go, 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 go! 
Bringing in another one. Come on, coach, let him run. Seven to two. Broncos on third now. Randy's on first. Ramirez at home. Oh, oh could it be? Could it be? No, they got it. Oh, oh, they knocked into each other. My God, are they horrible at their job? You say Phillies, I say Tampa Bay Rays. All right, we're into the ninth inning now. Seven to two Rays. I'm looking out here in the outfield. There's like a party deck up in that top corner and left. Well, left center. But also, there are apartments. If you had this apartment, you'd have a pretty good view of the game from up there. Okay, we just witnessed a pitch clock violation for a third strike. Yeah, the national just the, he had two strikes. Pitch clock violation. That's weird. What's the call? What's the call there? It was a pitch play. He t waited too long to get in the box in his stance. The batter has to make eye contact. Okay, another violation. Against Thompson on the mound. All right, Cash is coming out. Come on, brother. This stuff, these new rules are ridiculous. Look, Thompson's, Thompson's pissed. Uh-oh. Walk him again. This isn't speeding the game up. Yeah, the crowd's letting him know they that he, they know his name. They started chanting the one player they knew who he was. It's the most I've heard that crowd the entire game. Oh, it's ball there. What? I think that was a ball. Was a ball. I think the just wants to go home. So if the Rays get a double play here, uh -huh. or two more outs, right. they will have had the best start to their season in franchise history, 20th of the year. Right. They've never won six games in a row. Start the season. Makes sense. They're not that very good of a franchise. No, I, I agree. It's pretty, it's pretty <laughs> but no, it's good, good for now. And you know what? The, I, I was telling Adam, they play in the hardest division in baseball, and the fact that they, it's like a minor league team that makes the playoffs every year. You gotta love the, the, the future for this team. And every other team in baseball has lost a game already. Well, my team, my team, oh, we've lost five games already. Oh, you guys just lost. Yeah. yeah. One more. Oh, is it another pitch clock violation? Oh no. It's a napkin on the field. But not there's too many. That's a delay. That's a delay of game. It's a napkin violation. One more strike and this is over. The Razor 6 and 0 start the season. Oh, that's true. The clock kept kept going. Six and zero oh for the Rays. Start the season. Oh yeah, pretty dang cool. Come on, Zach Eflin. Come on, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I'll check out across the street over there. There's a bunch of guys wearing baseball shirts, standing in front of a baseball. They you all... know, you notice the guy standing there wearing the baseball shirts aren't with any women. Says the two dudes who are walking side by side. Yeah, well, listen, I'm with... going. I'm go I know I'm going home to a lady. That's all right. I'm not wearing no baseball. They might be too, though. They ain't not. I can you tell. Wear I, can, I can smell them from here. <laughs> I know that's just the manure. Get back in the car now. I feel the captain thought I was going to have Big the Foot in here with Big the Foot. I was back in my car at the Orlando International Airport. We decided to set this road trip out. But I got a picture with Eric Neander who is the, the guy, main guy in charge. Obviously, Stu Sternberg is the the owner of the Rays, but this is the, he's, he's the guy that in charge of baseball operations. I met him twice. 
once at Fenway last year and once today. Pretty cool. He was sitting sitting right with us basically. He was like two rows, two in, front rows of us. in front of us. Yeah. Yeah, the whole game. He got up like for like an inning. But he sat in the sun the whole time and watched watch his team. But he could have just been sitting somewhere else. But... Well, his team's undefeated. I would sit in the sun and watch my team all day. Good point. And I can add another one to the list. So that makes ten stadiums that I've seen the Tampa Bay Rays in. Not counting other stadiums I've seen other baseball games in, but as far as seeing the Rays, these are the ten stadiums thus far. Also doesn't include double A AA or triple A for Ray affiliates and farm teams. I'm gonna do all of them by some point, so I'm just keeping the list. So we have been in the car for probably an hour and a half. We're kind of heading northbound out of DC. Traffic, I gotta say, I've been in LA. Traffic's pretty bad in LA. Traffic's pretty bad in Orlando now on I-4. Out of DC traffic, not fun during rush hour. That's what happens when you get out of a 1 p.m. game. It's right now, it is what time? 5.30. We've been in traffic for probably over an hour and a half already. We haven't really gone that far. We've probably gone like 30 miles. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a scenic route with trees and nothing. So it's a... Yeah. yeah. So you said the D.C. probably has one of the worst rush hours in America? What Washington, D.C. has the worst rush hour in the United States. Uh, it's it's a fact, yeah. It's it's just bad. I mean, we, look at us. We're, this is horrible. We're, we're we're both old men now. Retirement. <laughs> we can look for we can look for Bigfoot over here. So disappointed he's not hanging from the mirror. I was like, God. I told my girl, I was like, Yeah, we're gonna be. In, I'm gonna be in Adam's car. I'm gonna see Big the Foot. Nope. No. Nope. He's back in Florida. Should have brought him with me. He could have seen the Rays win their sixth game in a row without losing so far this season. And you can see the worst traffic jam of all time. I think I'm going to end the video. We had a full day. I'm going to end the video looking at this full, uh, under, well, underdeveloped foliage. See you in the next video. The vlog is over. Oh, I think I heard Bigfoot out there.